Okay then, so let's go to the sphere plane collision detection, which may seem a little bit more complicated, but actually if you think over it, it's not as much complicated. Okay, first of all, a few image. Okay, then the first step when we want to make the sphere plane collision detection is we get a ray which will go to the direction of this normal vector. Actually, it will go to the direction of the normal vector 2 and a, a different direction 2 because we want that not matter which side of the plane are we, we can be able to detect collision. Uh, yeah, but that's later for the code. Okay, and if it is greater than the radius, there is no collision, obviously, and it is smaller, then there is a collision, uh, not too complicated. But actually, the response is more complicated. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty simple to get that, that is there a collision or not. We need to get the new coordinate of the sphere. So if the sphere goes inside the plane, we want to uh, put it back similarly than we did with the sphere. Uh, sphere sphere collision detection. Uh, okay, then it's uh, yeah. Let's go to the next one. We actually want to able to slide in the wall. I don't know. This is how it is said. Uh, it should be said, but we don't want that. If we go to the wall, that we can move like in the FDL game. I believe we can move. I don't know. So. Uh, we want that we able to slide the wall. So if I if I don't uh, look directly to the wall, so if I look, for example, 30, uh, 35 degrees, uh, and not to the not directly to the wall, I want to slide uh, slowly on the wall, uh, not uh, stuck in the wall. Okay, so yep. Now we do this by move back uh, by, by calculate how much we are inside and move back that much in the direction of the normal vector let me see here is it so we calculate how much we are in and we move that much back in in here so for example in this little slope and i put the right key in this case, then I will not go inside and I will not stuck, but I will go up in the slope. Okay, so I think that is all what is here, uh, that was the last uh, frame, so I think we should start coding. So let's make this function, which will return a bool, as I said, because it is return with true if there is a collision, false if no. Okay, and call it sphere plane, like sphere plane collision detection. Okay, it will wait first, obviously, the center point of the sphere. So this will be a coordinate, and actually this will be a, a reference because we need to change similarly than we do with the sphere sphere collision detection. So this will be, I don't know, SP, like sphere position, or one pretty much you can call anything you want okay and then we need a normal vector of the plane so this will be coordinate uh, normal vector or bn rather okay and we need uh, the four points so coordinate p1 coordinate p2 coordinate p3 coordinate p4 Oh, how much quick I can write. Okay, and then we, the last thing is the radius, obviously, of the sphere. We need to know that, so float r. And I think that all parameter which we will need, I will copy and paste it to save a little bit of time. Okay, and here, under this camera position, if the control key would work. Okay, first of all, I need to create a few variables which will store the distance, so float, distance 1, and I make it 0, and distance 2, I make it 0 too. You probably ask why is there two distance, because uh, the, when there is just one plane and one sphere, the answer is pretty simple, we need, uh, we need to calculate the distance from both sides. So for example here, I just create a new layer to show you what I mean. Okay, so here is our plane, 
right there here is the normal vector of the plane something like that and here is a sphere okay and we need to calculate the distance from this side uh, so the ray is going in this direction right there and this side so it's here the ray and the ray go this direction because we not because else we would be able to just detect the collision in one side so for example in this case of this sphere would be just detect this side of the collision but wouldn't detect this side uh, yep okay uh, yeah, that's why we need two distance, one from one side and the other from the other side, obviously, which is minus this, uh, uh, the other side, the sphere is the other side, so which is positive. Okay, now we need to able to find out if there, is there a collision or not. So if, and we use the ray tracing, which we have used earlier, so ray plane and uh, what the parameters are the ray plane so i will find out in a moment here are the parameters so i'll just control c control v them so i just come here so it will be easier to see what parameters should it be so first the normal vector of the plane this is pretty simple here is the normal vector where is the normal here okay so minus v n dot x minus vn dot y and minus vn dot z you probably ask why is it minus that the reason is pretty simple because as you can see the normal vector pointing in this direction but the ray is pointing to another direction and actually we need one which points in this direction so different direction than the normal vector and we need one which is pointing to the uh, good direction all right and then we need uh, the start point of the ray this is obviously the center point of the sphere so sp.x sp.y and sp.z the next is the next is the normal vector of uh, of the so the direction actually the normal vector was the first this is the direction and we want the opposite direction uh, uh, than the normal vector is point to so in this case this will be vn dot x vn dot y and vn dot z okay the next parameters are the coordinates so the four coordinates so i just pass it p2 p3 p4 that's right and then the we give this distance so this will be the address of this dist this one variable okay so we get the distance of this and we will able to check that is it farther or is it closer than the radius and if it is farther than the radius obviously there will be no collision okay as i said there will be two cases one in the one the sphere is one side and the other the sphere is the opposite side of the plane so we will need to make another ray plane algorithm uh, actually i copy this to save a little bit of time because the difference will be not much between the two the difference is that now the normal vector is point point in the opposite direction and the direction vector which is this is exactly the opposite so obviously a little bit of thinking and you would get the same result because uh, this is just the other side and the ray is exactly goes to the other way and the uh, and we set this normal vector which points to in this day this way to this way by just simple negate it so i put a negative sign in there okay and that was it so if it is returned with true and it will only return true and actually it will only return false if the ray is parallel to the plane so it cannot be a collision which is actually cannot be happen if I think over it never mind uh, here is it uh, or or it is in the other way uh, yeah I think we don't uh, really need this if statement right here because it will ne never return false one of them will be true okay now we need to check the distance 
oh the, uh, and one more dif uh, difference is that this is the distance 2 so we get the distance 1 and the distance 2 now we need to check that if, the, if this distance is farther away than the radi radius so if distance is greater than radius or distance 2 is greater than radius I know I write it wrong so this is distance 1 and this is R okay then we return false now we need to check which side is it so if distance 1 is greater than 0 it means that it is in the in one side it is the same side as the direction vector is point 2 then the new coordinates will be don't forget we use the ray tracing uh, too so so now the x coordinates so sp.x will be sp.x minus because we are now in the opposite direction than than the normal vector point two minus the normal vector x coordinate times r minus distance one okay maybe it's a little bit magically what this does but basically the r is the radius and minus distance one is how much we are inside because uh, let me show you so here is the plane here is the sphere which is inside this plane and now we need to know how much we are inside the easy way to do it is to calculate the distance between this uh, the center point and the plane which will be this little short uh, uh, line segment and the r is this long line segment so if i subtract the r minus this uh, short line segment then i get just this how much we are inside okay and i subtract it because i want to uh, put it back here where it is just uh, touch this plane okay and i do the same with the y and the z too so y i don't forget to change this to okay y and here z z and z okay else we are on the opposite side of the plane the only di uh, the only difference in here that i will put plus in here because we are moving in the opposite direction everything else uh, oh, one more change this is the distance to distance to distance to uh, everything else pretty much will remain the same okay and one more thing because we know that there is a collision right here I return with true and uh, as I just return with false although as I said I it probably will not even uh, uh, so it probably that this if co can only return with true I don't know probably maybe uh, yep I see a little bit of problem here I think I'm what we end at x didn't I call the function in here so rate a uh, ray plane now it's good and another parenthesis I think so okay and uh, I think I pretty much be able to test it out so I make a sphere uh, plane a call function call and I just copy this value which was that the start position which is again the camera position camera pause okay and the second is the the normal vector in this case I believe this is 0, 0.0 0, 0, 0.0 and 1.0 because it is looking for uh, yeah it looks in the direction of us and we are looking in the negative z direction so I think it is 1.0 okay and it is normalized obviously and then the coordinates let me see did I uh, log this did I write this coordinates into somewhere as uh, variables yep I will find out so yeah here are they uh, this is the plane so I can just pass p1 p2 p3 p4 so 
P1, P2, P3, P4. Obviously, in a game, we will store all of the Call, uh, all of the planes in a vector and then just get a for loop go through all of the vectors run this sphere plane and uh, find out the new coordinates okay and the radius is uh, stay with 2.0 okay and we are not not checking with an if that if is returned with true or false we don't have to check it will just return the camera por uh, position to the new coordinates and i believe we can ready to try to compile and solve all the errors okay so the our errors are not too much again maybe a logical error as in the previous one pn probably because uh, probably i don't know 300 and uh, yeah uh, here mm. okay here is it here is it yeah here is it so this is not pn this is vn why this is vn i don't know why this is vn but it's this vn so vector normal not pn what would be the pn position normal i don't know so pn is okay conversion from double to a non-scalar type coordinate requested okay the problem should be right here Oh, I know what the problem is. This should be a coordinate, coordinate object, not free separate uh, a coordinate, but actually a coordinate object. Yep, it should be. Now we can try to compile it again. All right, it seems to have no problem. Okay, the program is running. I make it here, and I try to go through with this to this plane. Wow, I can go through it, none of the direction, and I can slide in the wall. Although this lot of red is a little bit annoying, but as you can see, uh, I just pressing the key, but I cannot go through. So if you believe or not, this is work not just only. Uh, axis aligned uh, axis aligned things as you can see I can go through in here and in here neither so it's not only work in axis aligned uh, planes but it's work any kind of plane I will stop it and show you an example mm, so here it is as you can see I created another plane which is uh, not access aligned this is some weird plane so yep now if i go to this plane as you can see i can move on it i cannot go through the plane okay i cannot go through this plane i cannot go through this sphere neither so yep it's working quite nicely although there is here where i can go a little bit inside but there is that is not a problem because in a modeling program we will model things where that we need no such thing okay so as you can see for example in here i will not do uh, uh, use any other key just the w as you can see it go straight up to the slope it doesn't go through the slope or doesn't stuck in the slope as some other collision detection algorithms the okay and probably i think this is the end of the collision detection tutorial i hope this you find it useful although these are pretty hard tutorial because there is a lot of math in it and you know things like that but this is a very important topic in the games you cannot only use this for 3d fps game you can use it for any kind of 3d application actually uh, yep, this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a great day.